Hey, everybody. Thanks for staying with us. And as you can see, it's live and things happen. <laughs> Allison, welcome back. Thank you. Um, we actually have questions. We have, we have uh, time for a couple of more questions. Um, Gabrielle would like to know what education is required for your job? You have to you have to have a background uh, in some sort of STEM STEM field, right? So we're looking at requirements, and there's a lot of mechanical engineering type concepts in what we do. Um, so I don't think you necessarily have to have a mechanical background, but certainly something within the STEM realm. And what? How do you see? Oh, actually, okay. I'm going to do two more questions. I know we're short on time now, but two more. Um, what has been your biggest failure, and what have you learned from that? Oh, my biggest failure. You know, there's a there's a bid that I didn't win in my previous job that really just kind of stuck with me, and I had to do a lot of reflection on on why we didn't uh, we didn't win that. And uh, I I think you learn the most from the things that you fail at. I think, anyways. And so, you know, the concepts that I learned from that and the lessons learned from that are just something that I take with me and in, into every time we compete um, now. Yeah, it always does seem to be that way. It's nice to win, but there have to be those moments for yes. learning. Um, all right, so where do you see, we have time for one more question, where do you see yourself in the future, five, ten years from now? Well, I'm hoping that I, I'm, I'm still here, maybe not necessarily in this role, maybe a, a larger responsibility um, at this company, but you know, I just love it here so much. It's been so fantastic. And so I, I hope I'm still here five to 10 years from now. Well, Allison, we are out of time. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really had a great time uh, asking you these questions. Perfect. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. And we, we hope to see you again sometime in the future and, and follow up and see how it's going with you. Thank you. And next week we have, our, or not next week, our next event will be March 8th featuring STEM role model Lynn Sweet, who is a plant ecologist from University of California, Riverside, where she investigates biological questions that uh, ultimately help conserve plant and animal species. She's gonna speak with us and then she's gonna head out with a team of Jason student Argonauts on an expedition to Joshua Tree. She'll be one of the lead scientists on that. So that's right. In addition to live events, did you know that Jason also has teams of teacher and student Argonauts who go out on expeditions? So if you want to work with scientists and go to amazing places, you can. You can apply to be a Jason student or teacher Argonaut. And we accept applications year round but if you happen to get yours in before March 15th, in just a, just a month from now, you're guaranteed to be considered for the summer expeditions going to Nicaragua and the volcanoes, Bahamas and the sea turtles, and the fall expeditions, which include the Amazon and Catalina Island. Absolutely amazing. And remember, you can always follow the adventures on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter and find more behind the scenes stuff about what's going on at Jason uh, there. So you can stop by and say hi to us there. Until then, till next time from Jason Learning, I'm Haley Nelson, and we'll see you next time on Jason Live.